it's going. He really showed him what the Divine Dragon can do. Now, Soul Palace. Stay close. Save for you to split off and get lost. Again. Thanks, Fagato. This ought to be interesting. It's been years since I visited the palace. Years? I thought Solomon and Firinay had a good relation. Uh, no. You didn't. Whoops! Egg me face! Right. Let me do this properly. I'm Fogata, captain of the Sentinels, and the Prince of Soul. Welcome to my family's palace. Come on in. You wanted to be mom, right? is all mine, Divine One. Our conversation made for an excellent spike over an already fine tea. The tea was... Nice going! You really showed him what the Divine Dragon can do. Now, to Soul Palace. Stay close. I'd hate for you to split off and get lost. Again. Thanks, Fogato. This ought to be interesting. It's been years since I visited the palace. Years? I thought Soul and Firinay had a good relationship. Our countries are allies, sure, but that doesn't mean our families are close-knit. In fact, out of Solm's whole royal family, my mother and I have only met Queen Sephoria. What? No one else? Nope. Not the royal consort, not the crown princess, and not her brother the prince. That's strange. I never met them either. Same thing happened to you, huh? I may have forgotten the way to the palace, but I remember well what happened there. It was a strange scene. The queen received us alone, with no one attending her. When we asked to meet the princess and prince, she told us they weren't there. She told us the exact same thing! I asked when they'd be back, and she said, no idea. It didn't make sense. If you're royalty, you can't leave your castle whenever you like. I got the feeling she was hiding them from us. But why? Were they sick or shy? Shy? <laughs> that would surprise me. Everyone we've met here has been so friendly. The Queen is too. There are just some things about the royal family that don't add up. Let's be on guard, all right? Got it. We're here, Soul Palace. Now all that's left is asking those guards to open the gate. Thanks for leading the way, Fogato. I don't know how we'd have gotten here without you. Of course. Just another day in the life of a sentinel. I'll be sure to commend you to the Queen. Anyway, now we'd better be on our way. Huh? Uh, Fogato? What are you doing? 
Talking to the guards. What else? Does he have a meeting with the queen as well? Beats me. Maybe he's here on some kind of sentinel business. Fogato, wait for us. Hey, I'm home. Home? Welcome back, Prince Fogato. I'll open the gate. Yes, let the gate be open! Prince. Did that guard say Prince? Uh, unless we misheard him. In exactly the same way. Thanks for waiting, folks. Fogato, we're a little confused. Are you the Prince of Solm? Did I not mention that? Uh, no. You didn't. Whoops! <laughs> Egg meat face! Right, let me do this properly. I'm Fogato, captain of the Sentinels, and the Prince of Solm. Welcome to my family's palace. Come on in. You wanted to meet Mom, right? Mom! Visitors! What is happening? I didn't realize there was royalty. Prince personally going on patrols. Not something you see every day. I wonder why we never met him before. He doesn't seem sick. He's certainly not shy. It's a mystery. Anyway, let's head in. Don't want to keep Prince Fogato waiting. <laughs> Stolen, miserable, torn apart from your friends. How delicious. Lady Vale. Zephia, tell me, what are the Divine Dragon's forces up to? They passed through the Shadowy Moor. It appears they've arrived in Solm. So they did not return to Brodia. They're gathering more rings. Good. Can we go after them, Lady Vale? I'm itching for a rematch. Patience, Marnie. If we wait, we can steal Solm's ring from them along with the others. Oh, smart. I'll be a good girl and wait then. You are a treasure, Marnie. Isn't she just? The pride of the Four Hounds. <laughs> you two really keep on the praise. That's why I love ya. <laughs> You're such a child. Praise is for chumps. It's much more fun to be punished. Worry not, Gris. You will soon have all the agony your heart could want. That's what I like to hear. The perks of the gig right there. And you, Mavir? How would you like to be rewarded? Nothing for me, my lady. You won't even say my name. How cold. Uh... That's all right. For now, we wait. We watch. And then, when the time comes... <clears throat> Lady Vale? I've been awake for too long. I must sleep. Here are your instructions. Zephia, take charge. As you wish.
no holding back. I'm Lin. Get ready. Our victory is yours, but I won't lose next time. Somehow, I won. Don't go thinking I'm some wishy-washy noble. I'm stronger than I look. I never thought you seemed weak to begin with. I'd be nowhere without you, Lin. I am Alcrest, a prince of Brodia. I am Lynn of the Lorca tribe. <laughs> Bad! <laughs> Victory is yours, but I won't lose next time. I'm sorry. Are you hurt? You're the emblem King Hyacinth once used, but now you're an ally? This is hard to accept. Until you can forgive me, Alcrest. Think of me only as an emblem, not as Lin. Let's have a good match. Lucina, Princess of Elise, has arrived. <laughs> Let's see what you can do. <laughs> no! You're as strong as I expected. Thank you for the hope you showed me back then. If not for you, I might have given up. I only gave you a small push. You'll be carving your own future for yourself. No holding back. Hi there. I'm Jean, a doctor in training. It's been an honor sparring with you. Somehow, I won.
I'll be your opponent. It's me, the Brodian Prince who isn't Diamant. Incredible. Such skill. Somehow, I won. Welcome. Do come again. Well, hey there. Take care. I really enjoyed our tea party today. Thanks for inviting me, Saline. The pleasure is all mine, Divine One. Our conversation made for an excellent spice over an already fine tea. <laughs> the tea was fine, wasn't it? That floral note it had was almost unbelievably good. I'm glad you appreciated it. The leaves were grown in Firenay, you know. 
The delicate, subtle taste embodies the spirit of our kingdom. It is my utmost favorite. Yeah, I've heard the Fyranese prefer the pastoral life over any kind of open conflict. That really came through in this tea. There's a Fyranese folktale I think you might find interesting. Our royal palace is home to a spirit who ensures happiness for the virtuous. For thieves or interlopers, however, the spirit drives them off with mischievous tricks. <laughs> Imagine, driven off by the prankish antics of a spirit. No serious consequences at all. How effective a deterrent do you suppose such a spirit really is? <laughs> Even so, it's a lovely story. It's the kind of good-hearted tale that reflects the Fyranese character, I think. Yes. Yes, it is. Well then, we must have tea together again sometime, Divine One. Jean? Are you not getting enough greens at the cafe? Oh, no. I'm actually picking medicinal herbs. See? Wow. You've got a ton picked already. This one acts as a painkiller, and this one is useful in several ointments. It used to grow all over my home island, but it's gotten harder to find lately, so I'm picking some here to send back to my father. For the clinic on your island, right? Well, this is a lot for one person to harvest alone. Let me help you. No, no, no. That's okay. You must have a lot of other important things to do, Divine One. Not so many that I can't lend a hand here. Besides, with the war and your studies, I bet you're so busy you barely have time to sleep. <laughs> I should have known the Divine One would see right through me. That's right. Nothing gets by me. If you really wouldn't mind, then yes, it would be a big help. Thank you. <laughs> 